send me a text, don't answer her calls She love when I flex and shop in her mall Relieving her stress, I beat down her walls She skied on her chest, she kissing my balls We speedy in the bed, don't stop her the laws VVs on my neck, I shine in her doll It's easy to slip, don't want you to fall Walking with a drip, that make a ball Shoot your shit up, I got accurate aim Put up a few mil, now I'm back Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel Um, today is Sunday and I'm picking up for my last vlog um because i said it's to be continued today on the schedule we are going to be shooting stuff for rockstar um also taking my car to go get tinted and then i'm just gonna be cleaning up around my house and setting up more stuff that comes in the mail but it is a beautiful day outside beautiful day look at the uh the downtown skyline view usually you can't even see like all the way out there because it's like smog and shit all the time but you can see pretty far so you can actually like see the water i wish i had like a close enough zoom for that but um yeah i ordered my necklace um, which i'll show you guys that and taja also ordered hers she got leia's full name i just got like a little um a l it's david yearman too it's actually a women's necklace but i'll make it work and stack it on top of the uh, necklaces and stuff that i have now but yeah it's gonna be a chill little vlog. I'll show you guys how I make money, how I run my businesses and stuff like that. So let's get into it. All right, as you can see right here on screen, I decided to go with this David Yerman necklace right here with just the L on it for Leia. And the dope thing is, is it's adjustable. Um, I think 18 inches um, and then it can go up to like 16, which 16 is what I need because I want to stack with these necklaces. As you can see, this one's 20, this one's 18, and then I can do like 16 right underneath this with the L right there. So it'd be a dope little like stackage. Plus it's only like 200 bucks, two? Uh, it'll probably come out to like 300, something like that. Um, so yeah, and then Taja ended up getting like a custom piece, which, uh, do you have a picture of it? Yeah, while well, she pulls that up, she got the custom piece of like her full name. So um, she'll have that on there and it'll be here, I think in like five days. All right, I'll show them that, hold on. So it'll be kind of, uh, I gotta focus, man. Okay, so it'll be like that, but with Leia's name on it. So it looks good, nice dainty, cause she likes dainty jewelry. But yeah, how much did uh, this one cost? 322 after taxes. Yeah, so honestly about like, seven hundred dollars i guess total is what we're gonna have to like spend on necklaces so we got that out the way i'm pretty sure my shipping shouldn't take that long considering they probably have a uh, a warehouse or something out here but we knocked out the necklaces so that's good um yeah and let's just continue the rest of this day all right so i got packages here from rockstar um if you guys don't know um, most of y'all probably follow me on instagram uh one of my sources of income is content creation and I have a partnership with Rockstar right now. They have a new drink coming out. I think it's three different flavors. This one is, let's see. This one is white peach. It's energy and like a mental boost. So you can see right there, white peach. Sounds pretty dope. Let's see what other flavors they got. But I'm doing a campaign with them um, to highlight um, this new drink that they came out with. The last one was centered around the other drinks and stuff that they had. This flavor is orange pineapple. Sounds like a pretty good one too. Let's see what it looks like. Orange pineapple. This probably will be the one that I try. Well, depending on what this last flavor is. But yeah, I have a partnership with them um, that I'm doing TikTok videos to showcase the new products and stuff that they have. I actually got to go to uh, Activation, which was Complex Con um, and cool stuff like that. So they're switching over to pushing more like lifestyle content instead of focusing all on just like sports and entertainment, which is why they chose me to help promote these new products. This one is Lemon Lime. Be honest, that's probably not gonna be my favorite. The one that I'm gonna go with, probably in the video, is this orange pineapple. Actually, let's just taste it. I'll give you all a little taste test right now. This one's good. I like this. It tastes more orangey than pineapple. I think the pineapple could probably come through a little bit more, but 
this is the one that I'm going to use in my video. And when it comes to content creation, um, a lot of this stuff, like you got to write out concepts and all the rest of that stuff, send it over to the brand. My concept for this one to highlight something that's energy and um, mental focus, I'm going to go through like my regular day, um, go train and use this as something that gives me like a little bit of boost of energy and mental focus uh, when I'm doing that. They also want to incorporate in uh, like the early access because this stuff hasn't came out yet um, and people can order it online. So they want to show the ordering online aspect. So I'll do that probably prior to or implement it into the video somehow. But today I'm going to be shooting this. It honestly shouldn't take that long. I shoot majority of my content as you guys see on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff, YouTube shorts on my phone. I don't use my cameras like here um, on YouTube. These phones are perfectly fine and they shoot in 4K. All you need is really just solid lighting, which is why I always choose a place that has like natural lighting. Um, if you don't have good lighting, it's kind of hard because when you're shooting low light, it always just, it's not appealing to like the audience. So yeah, this is one of the projects that I'm working on and a number of other projects, but I'll show you guys some behind the scenes of how I shoot this stuff, how I edit it. Um, and if I have to like write out a script, I write out a script um, and things like that. But so far, I mean, this is the only one I've tried. I'm figuring that this is probably gonna be the best one. White Peach, uh, I'm probably gonna shy away from that one. I'm back like I came, that boy said my name, I went got me some strange. You know I don't crash, I just stay in my lane. Please don't come pepper, cause we not the same. Go one ain't no gimmick, ain't climbing for fame. My trap for a living and been had a name. Work hard for these clothes, cars and watches and chains. Oh man, bro, what's got umbrellas, just whip for the rain. These fuck them fucked up, let me slip in the game. This bitch let me fuck this shit, went to her brain. She know I'm all right, so I am headed to the tent shop right now. I think the lighting's all crazy. I decided to wear my Omega Speedmaster today. I haven't worn this in a while. I really love this um, watch. It's the Omega Speedmaster. It's the moon watch. If you guys aren't familiar with that, Omega makes really good watches. I have the Speedmaster and I also have the Seamaster. That's a yellow, um, it's a yellow gold. So it's like two-tone and it's got a rubber strap. So I really like wearing that because it's got like a cool sporty look, but we're about to head up here to the tent place. I don't know how long this is gonna take. It might take like, I don't know, a couple of hours. And then I'll check in. Actually, I'm gonna do a cold start. So I'm gonna to my car and then do a cold start. And then yeah, we'll head over to the uh, tent shop. Nice little cold start again there's nothing like a cold start bro um i think like once you get into cars and start learning a little bit more about them you start to fall in love with them even more and the driving experience is just it just makes you want to drive so i literally have no problem driving anywhere i'll drive like further just to be able to drive my car put it in an m1 and just go so yeah we're gonna head over to the tent place and get this shit done all right so i just made it up to the shop and I had to get some Shake Shack. I typically do not eat this, but I got a burger, some fries, and this uh, drink, which I've got this drink before. It's fire. I think it's only gonna take like maybe like an hour and a half, so I'm just gonna chill up here. And then whenever they pull the car in here, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys some BTS of them putting it on. I'm not gonna go too dark in the front because I don't want any issues or anything like that, but Shake Shack or in and out which one do you guys think is better? Uh, I'm probably gonna go Shake Shack. in and out their burgers are too little, even though Shake Shack is little too. These subs go hard. If you get like a double. My whole smacks every time. All right, so front window, you can basically see through this. So if I put my hand right here, you can see um, back window, it's a little bit darker. I'm gonna go a little bit darker than the back window. That way you're not able to see basically straight through this. So that's the uh, tent I'm gonna get on the front. I'm not gonna do the windshield just cause I don't really need it. And I don't want cops and shit bothering me, but I'm just gonna go a little bit darker than the back um, passenger and uh, driver window. Check out this Mustang. It's a Mustang Dark Horse. This shit is clean as fuck. Wow. 
look at the uh, little emblem on the back. Look at that. That shit is so clean. I've never seen one of these. She squirm on my sheets while I beat out her frame Don't stop her back up, she still saying my name I'm in love with my life and you wish we could trade She sent me a text, on not answer her call She love when I flex and shop in her mall Relieving her stress, I beat down her walls She skied on her chest, she kissing my balls We speedy in that bit, don't stop her the loss VVs on my neck, I shine in her doll It's easy to slip, don't want you to fall Walk in with a drip, that make her a ball Walk in with a drip, that make her a ball So the windows are tinted now um, it honestly took like an hour and a half or so. Um, they always do a really good job. So if you guys need tent, car wash, whatever it is, they do PPF here too. Um, they do interior detailing. I don't think they do out um, exterior detailing. But hit up Auto. It's Monkey's Auto Spa. Monkey's Auto Spa. It's right over here on. I think this is Pico Street. Yeah, West Pico Street. So if you guys need to slide up on them, make sure y'all hit Edgar up. He's cool as fuck. Um, but I'm about to head back to the crib and probably, I'm probably gonna call it a day to be honest because I'm tired, bro. I am tired. So yeah, I might pick up this vlog um, tomorrow, which is Monday, which will be like an extreme work day. Um, and I'll probably end up shooting the Rockstar stuff then. If not tonight, I might just like do a, a night workout and knock out that stuff then, but I'll see how I feel. I did fall in love a little, struggling walking uphill. We've been playing Jack and Jill, just know I want you. We don't need to complicate, I'll be nothing that you hate. I just want to hear you say that you want me to Now I'm gonna, I want to piece together part two so I could honestly just All right, so my ass is again running late for training But I went through my morning routine I had a meeting with Simple Human which went well um, We're probably going to be doing like quarterly work which is dope Because um, I really enjoy their products and I've built a relationship with um, one of the representatives, Chris um, over these past few months because I got to go to their headquarters and stuff like that But I showed you some of the behind the scenes of filming this stuff for Rockstar I'm filming some stuff right now with them so you can see the little mount I have right there with my iPhone and I shot like a shot of me drinking it headed to the workout just for an extra energy boost um, But I'm about to head to dog pound. I'm working out with Zay today. I think we we're just gonna do upper um, probably just arms because I don't want to do shoulders because every single time I do shoulders before boxing bro It's the worst possible idea I could do but yeah, I'm about to head over here It's been a great start to the Monday a little bit hectic because just like trying to shoot all this stuff at the same time We're trying to get meetings and stuff done and then obviously um, You know stuff with the nursery all these boxes and stuff inside of my house It just causes a whole bunch of chaos but we're gonna make it through this Monday, get some orders shipped out whenever I get to my office. But I'll show you uh, guys the workout and stuff that we do today, and then I'll check in after that. Mm. Hey, big stepper like big meat. Mm -hmm. I was taught to go and get it straight about the mud, little nigga. Hey, murder, 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 keep my slugs, my nigga. Hey, I was taught to never show no love, my nigga. Papa Zan next. I ain't never had no feeling. What I got planned next? Gotta put the stars in the ceiling. Sliding down Fairfax. Nigga, I was plotting on the million. I wanna be a nigga. So that's on God, I ain't chilling. Yeah. Alright, just finished training at Dog Pound. That was a good workout with Zay. Uh, we just did arms and stuff. I literally just got confirmation that I signed a deal for 20 bands right here. So content creation, I know a lot of people don't think there's a lot of money in it. 20 bands. And this is for like minimal work. And we're working on a deal with um, with Dove Men's. They just sent in like the little pitch or whatever. Hopefully that comes through. But content creation, I think a lot of people like laugh at it. Like, oh, bro's setting up his tripod. Bro's recording his life. I would rather get up every day and record my life and go through my regular daily routine, things like that, and get paid to be me versus wake up and do something that I don't want to do. So if you're looking to do content creation, keep that in mind, bro. You're going to have people that are trying to make fun of you and all the rest of that stuff let that shit go it doesn't matter 
go do what you love to do because twenty thousand dollars for minimal work and something that I love doing, you can't beat that shit. You'll never be able to beat that. So um, just kind of wanted to throw that out there. I need to get something to eat. Um, so I'm probably going to grab something to eat by my office, grab a coffee, and then I'm going to get to work on all these damn orders that are pending and get some inventory done, plus edit that Rockstar video that is due today. So I'm about to head over there. I might do a POV if um, we got like some space and stuff to drive, but just wanted to give you all guys that update. Stay focused on what you want to do. So if content creation is what you want to do, Hey, that's confirmation that there's some money out here. All right, I am done. Uh, well, I just made it to my office. I'm done shooting the Rockstar content. I just shot the last little clips and stuff that I need. Now I'm about to edit it. And if you guys are wondering where I edit my videos, it's in Premiere Pro. I'm about to edit like all the clips together, do a little voiceover, and then send it over to the brand in the next like hour and a half or so. It shouldn't take that long. Um, but yeah, I literally just got another email from Adobe. As you can see up here, Adobe um, Acrobat. So I've worked with Adobe like maybe, I think it's two times I did Adobe Express and I probably did Adobe prior to that too. Yeah, like two years ago for a Black History Month thing. Um, I think it was with Adobe Express too, but it's always great working with Adobe. Um, this is the same agency that I worked with last time. Um, so I'm pretty sure that we'll lock in a number that works for both of us. But again, content creation, there's a lot of different um, avenues where you can make money. And then I'll also take you guys through like the other business that I have, the Creature of Habits, which is why I expanded to this office in the first place because I needed more room uh, for my inventory and stuff. I also have my personal website where I sell like these canvases, um, the other canvas that you see over there too, um, along with like my ebook. Um, if you guys are looking for my social media ebook, um, I created that. It's on volume three. Um, and it's like $30, I made it reasonably priced. It's a 78 like page ebook and it's videos of me like sitting down talking, going through stuff. It's not like, oh, you need to post X amount of times per week. It's really giving you the experience that um, I took um, or the path that I took to grow my social media and personal brand. So um, that's another avenue of like source of income for myself is my personal website, obviously my personal merchandise, which is kind of like synchronize with the um, the brand, the Creature of Habits, which we'll talk about um, a little bit later. But yeah, I'm about to knock out this video real quick and then we will get to <laughs> all this inventory that's been sitting there for the past like week and a half. Um, and then we'll talk more about the Creature of Habits. Bitch and I ride with the shooters, hey, made my cousin a killer. And at 15, I was neighborhood drug dealer. I'm so cold hearted, I can't show no love, nigga. But I fuck that bitch to party next door, Persian rugs, nigga. Uh, All right, so I just finished this. I'm gonna let you guys take a look at it and see how it came out. Welcome back to another day in my life with Rockstar Energy. As an entrepreneur that was an athlete my whole life, I love to keep an active lifestyle and that requires energy and focus. Rockstar Focus helps me in those areas to stay on point with my training as well as running my businesses. Orange Pineapple is my favorite just because it's light and refreshing and they also have lemon lime, white peach that you guys can pick up online. And for early access, head over to Rockstar Energy and grab yours. So that is just a little bit of behind the scenes of how I piece together um, my short form content. I wrote that script, probably took me maybe like 10 minutes. I went over the brief um, and all that stuff, make sure I hit the, like the talking points because a lot of brands have like talking points that they want you to hit. Um, they are super cool because they don't want it to be like too ad or salesy, but you can throw in the stuff that needs to be thrown in so people understand what the product is, but it's seamlessly integrated into my lifestyle. And the drinks, I really like them. Um, the white peach and the orange pineapple, my favorite. I haven't tried the lemon lime yet, but um, I really like the drink. It honestly gave me a lot of energy focus wise too. Um, but yeah, that's how I go through that and piece together like my short form content. I am about to walk you guys through. Um, damn, super dark. But I'm gonna walk you guys through um, the creature of habits and what it is. I don't know if I'll set up like, I'll probably set you guys up right here and then kind of walk through the basics of what we have and then the other stuff that we just added on. So you guys get a look at that. All right, so I'm gonna walk you guys through what we have at the Creature of Habits. First off, the point of the brand is building better habits for a better life. Um, that is the slogan and stuff that we have and then as a Creature of Habits, because it's obviously centered around habits and the main habit that we're centered around is hygiene. So we have like this little shower caddy right here that you can put in your shower. 
Um, you can stick it against the wall. This doesn't have adhesive on the top, so make sure you guys read the directions on what surfaces this can go on. But this is our little like shower caddy right here. And then we also have a body scrubber right there. You can scrub your whole body. These are 100% silicone, nice little soft bristles and stuff on there too. And then we have a face scrubber, which these come in like a duo. If you guys wanna check that out, um, the company is linked below. Um, it's the creatureofhabits.com. Then we also have like a face scrubber plus, which this is a larger face scrubber. Same thing, soft bristles right there. I really like this one the best because you can get it inside like your facial hair and stuff like that if you have that. Um, then we also have a body scrubber plus right here to handle on the back of that. That way if you need to get more surface area, you can with that. Um, I like both of them. I typically go with this one um, overall. And then also, just in case you need to hang these things up, we do have a hook system where you can hook those on. And I'll show you guys the details on the hooks. The details on the hooks is the logo, as you can see. Same logo is right there. It's integrated perfectly because the Creature of Habits, CH, um, it went perfectly with that. But yeah, I really love these hooks. This is the second design that we've had on this because originally didn't have this um, debossed inside of it. But I really love this. And then right here, got a back scrubber with soft bristles right there too. I really love this too because you can bend it. However you want to flex it to get like further on your back or something like that, you can bend it. Um, but yeah, the soft bristles right there. And then we have branding right there on the handle. And another thing that we have is soap dispensers, which these just released. So you can see right there, they come in a pack of two and then also just like a single one if you want a single one um, and you're able to do that. They have the adhesive on the back of it right there. All you gotta do is peel the strip off and then you're able to stick it right against your wall. We also have like a cool little kind of direction thing that comes with it so people know how to go put it up. And after that, we are gonna get into like our bags. So we have travel bags, which they come in five different sizes. You can see all of them inside there. They come in black, which we have the tags and stuff right there. Yeah, it's gonna focus. Yeah, the Creature of Habits. So it's five different size travel bags inside here. So whenever you're packing your suitcase, you can put all of your stuff in there and keep it organized. We also have it in gray. So two different colorways with that. Same thing, five different bags come inside that package. And then we have an elite um, like bundle that has like this included too, which is a toiletry bag. You can see right there, dual zippers at the top, zipper at the front. So you can put all of your toiletries inside of here, um, your toothbrush, all that stuff that you need. It can fit inside this toiletry bag. And then lastly, we have the shoe bags. So if you need to travel with your shoes, you can simply just unzip this, put your shoes in there, and then they're good to go. That way they're not like all on top of your clothing. Just in case you don't have clothing bags, you just want shoe bags to not have like your dirty shoes on top of things. The, these are perfect for that. So right now, those are all the products that we have in. Uh, I lied. Let me go get the, the fitness stuff. All right, we also have fitness gear. So these are our, like shorts right here. These don't have pockets on them, but they are like five inch seam shorts. I really like these training inside these because they have the lining already inside of it. So you don't have to wear like compression shorts or anything like that. These are perfect. I would uh, size up on these because these do run like a little bit small. So if you're a large, I would go with XL just to give yourself a little bit of room. And then we also have like our workout tees right here with this logo on the front. And then on the back right here, we have difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. You guys see me wear this um, probably in training quite a bit on my videos. And then we also have the cutoff tee, which is the same thing, logo on the front, and then difficult takes a day, impossible takes a week. Also like the canvases and stuff, we have canvases available on my personal website as well as the Creature of Habits. So if you guys wanna go check those out, um, they're all on there. We have free shipping on orders over 50 bucks, and that's just in the US. International shipping, we do have to charge you, but you do get a $8 discount on shipping if you do anything over 50 bucks. So, oh yeah, I forgot to show you the guys the different colors too. We have different colors in the scrubbers. So it's, um, it's unisex, so women can use these too. We have like a beige right here in that scrubber that I was showing you. And this only comes in this um, style of scrubber. And then we also have a, Sage green, oh, which is oh, the piece of paper right there, which is dope too. I really like these. You can get them as a, a trio, 
or you can just get these two or a bundle of these, bundle of um, each one of the colors. But yeah, that's all the scrubbers and stuff that we have now. Um, so if you guys want to check us out, uh, it's thecreatureofhabits.com. I know this section's kind of long, but if you guys haven't checked this out, click the link down below. And yeah, that's basically what all this inventory and stuff is back here. Um, I'm working on doing a yoga mat. I have a sample actually back here that I've had for a while. And you can see, eh, you can see the creature of habits right there. But overall, I'm just building a brand centered around habits in different areas. Hopefully ex we expand to a lot of different cool shit. But yeah, right now the focus is on selling these products that I just showed you. And yeah, I'm about to get something to eat and then I might show myself packing up some orders um, cause we gotta get some of that stuff done. And then um, if I don't pick up tomorrow, this will be the end of the vlog, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm totally tripping. Um, so another source of income, I have a marketing company, um, which we started off with just digital marketing at first, uh, where we would advertise for companies, come in, do content creation and stuff for them. I pivoted the entire company to representing creatives like myself. So we get creatives like myself, brand deals, we negotiate all that stuff. Um, so I've been doing that. I think it's been, it's not even been like a full year yet. So uh, we have talents and stuff on our agency, which is Harris Marketing and Media Group. It's linked on my Instagram and also uh, the website is harrismmg.com. But yeah, we represent talents, help them get deals and stuff like that. So that's another source of income that I do have. We take 10% of whatever comes through their email and we negotiate it and 20% of whatever we go out and source for them and then um, be able to bring them opportunity. So yeah, um, I forgot to mention that because this whole video <laughs> is about like how I make money. And also with content creation and stuff, I get affiliate like uh, marketing to through Amazon. I get commissions and all these other brands and stuff that I work with. So yeah, that might be the end of the vlog because I don't even know what I have to do tomorrow. It's probably not anything interesting, but those are the ways that I make money. Hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.